how else could I express it? I'm playing the saviour of London, a kind of female Boris Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> With prettier hair. I'd recommend it to anyone. Lovely. Brilliant. Unbelievable. Amazing. It's very funny. We just loved it. What more does one want? Name in the here at your service. Instinctively, that I'm a hopeless dancer, but I can be an amusing dancer. It's not true. He was born to dance. Born to dance. Thank you. <laughs> so we'll see. Meanwhile, a lot of lines to learn. Seems competent, doesn't he? Give he? the impression of competence. Doesn't he just? Doesn't he just? But you never know. It's just first days. <laughs> Jury's out. Jury's out. Hi, Eric. Oh, I believe this was your tea. Yes, I oh, always love tea. <laughs> Edna, well, she's gone. She doesn't come to rehearsals. But she'll probably make it up as she goes along. That's the worry, I think. A bit of a diva. Mm. But she's never sick. So the understudy has a nice life. I never know. I just look as though I know. I pretend to know. <coughs> I think we're meeting the front and half, front of house staff. It's very important that the artists and the creative people, the production people, meet the other people in the show, who are the ushers, usherettes, box office people. And that establishes a kind of family feeling. Yes, I see they're following you around. <laughs> she might come to the final dress rehearsal just to be told where to go. So if her performance on the first night is totally chaotic, you'll know why. A woman who does not come to rehearse. Sorry. Take it up quite enough of my time. It's bad enough I have to address you in rhyme. It's a lovely, lovely evening, all matinee, and I would advise everybody to come and see us. I am loving your frock. Is it? Is it George Armani? It is, and yours, I presume, is George Astor. I enjoy it so much because the kids have a lovely time. The audience has a wonderful time, and it transmits itself back onto the stage. There's bells ringing out your name, Dick Whittington, Lord Mayor of London. She's been extraordinarily quiet. No temperament, no problems. So, touch wood. <laughs>